can see all of his stuffing with his horn taken off. All of his... insides. Oh, Mr. Unicorn. I'm honestly really, really sorry. But I just have to do this one last thing. Oh, dear. I hope this stuffing was worth it. Poor, poor Mr. Unicorn. Oh, wow! This looks so much comfier! Why didn't I think of this before? Oh, wow! This looks so much comfier! Why I think I've outdone myself with this one. This is surely the most comfy pillow ever. Curse you, Anna! Kitty, nap time. Oh, <coughs> how cute. Open this door right now. Wow, such a pretty thing. I think I've heard about these before. They're meant to be worth a lot of money, so it might help me find medicine for Grandpa. like that worked. I think I'll hang on to this diamond, too. Could come in handy. Finally! It's... stuff. Let's see here. An amulet, some blueprints of some sort, and a... book of witchcraft. It's full of spells. Oh, what's this? A portrait? This is a little unusual. It's a family portrait, but whose family? And why does the witch have it locked away? The lady looks a bit like the old witch. Only different. I wonder if it's a relative of some sort, maybe? The corner has been ripped out, too. Another person was in this picture before. I guess the witch didn't want them in there. I don't know what the witch is up to. But I'm going to hold on to this. These people may be in danger. If I ever find them, I should warn them. Ah, here we are. A button. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, wow. A door. This is it. Our way out. I'll go check ahead before I get Ben in case there's anything that would scare him. It can't be. It's just... It's just a basement. <sighs> a dead end. Huh? Greetings, young one. Ah! What is this? Shh! What? Shh! And greetings again. What a glorious fate that has brought you to this den. Oh, um, thank you? Tis so long I have waited in the dust and the gloom for your ill-fated arrival to me in this room. You knew I was coming? Indeed, my dear Anna, for I see far and wide. The witch used me to find you. You had no place to hide. Oh, but where are my manners? Since now you've come hither, I have no name to greet you by, though you may call me Mirror. Well then, hello Mirror. Pleased to meet you. A pleasure, dear Anna. A pleasure indeed. Please, ask me your questions. 
for I have answers you need. Do you know a way out of this tower? I worked so hard to get down here, and it's just a dead end. Ah yes, the quest you have taken has indeed become dire. Fear not, for the answer lies within an object acquired. With me? I don't understand. Look, I'm sorry. I appreciate the help. I just don't understand these rhymes. You're only getting me confused and... And... <sighs> I'm just so worried about Grandpa. I miss him so much. Come now, dear girl. Please not be afraid. To help people like you, tis why I was made. Watch closely now, for I travel far to bring you the image of your beloved Grandpa. Really? Grandpa! Oh no, he looks even worse than before. I cannot create lies. Tis the truth I must speak. And the tragic truth is with each day he grows weak. What can I do, Mirror? Where do I need to go? Through the witch's dark woods over the east cliffs of snow lies the lonely village of Wunderhorn far down below. Within here these quarters lies a magician of heart pure. Find him, dear Anna, and you shall find your cure. A cure? I knew it! The village of Vundahorn. Thank you, Mirror. Really, I can't thank you enough. But let's not be hasty. You must first take heed. You cannot simply escape for protection, you still need. Protection? What do you mean? The witch you see, she'll never resign. Wherever you go, she will hunt down your mind. So what do I do? Once the path to escaping has been found and revealed, you must fashion a spell that will act as your shield. And that's in this spell book, right? Turn to page 44, and there you shall read of the spell with such strength that you will meet your need. It is an amulet you cast it on and wear from henceforth. Then all the tricks from the witch can simply be ignored. Oh, let's see. Hmm. Wait, all these ingredients. A raven's feather, a strand of hair from the one you need protection from, a blessing from the dead over the cauldron they are in, then I need to heat them to a boil together, and then I need to dip in an amulet charged by the moon. Mirror, how am I going to find all those things here? Rest assured, dear girl, in this tower, these are strewn. Well, you can see everything, right? Can't you just tell me where to find them? Oh, I'm afraid I cannot. I have assisted all I can. The rest of the way is for you now to plan. <sighs> Somehow I had a feeling you might say something like that. How did you say I find a way out? You say it's something I have? Ah yes, the quest you have taken has indeed become dire. Fear not, for the answer lies within an object acquired. With me? I don't understand. Wait, you don't mean the spell book, do you? Indeed, it is needed a clue. But the path you must travel. Can I reverse the spell on Ben? I think he used to be a boy before the witch kidnapped him. And... Indeed, the poor child, poor victim of fate. A destiny strife with much death, fear, and hate. What? What? Death? Is Ben going to be okay? I want to help him, not put him in danger. It is certain that sorrow 
is within the boy's tail. But your help, I can assure, will be of a thing. Hmm. I suppose I see. I'm going to keep looking. I still have a while to go before I can get away from here. Indeed, brave child. I'll be here when you're stuck. With your search, though, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Mirror, for everything. Frogs, birds, skulls, the essential things for a witch, I guess. Nope, I don't believe I need any of them. Hmm, it's all pretty gross-sounding stuff. Eyes of Newt, lizards, gizzards, vampire blood? Blah, so gross. Hmm, it seems I can't reach that. So, which book should I have a look at? Communicating with the other side. All right, here we go. Summoning the spirits of the dead. Those who pass on to the other side leave a remnant of their past lives in our world. This will most often come in an object, something close to their heart, their spiritual essence. One of the basic summoning techniques is to take such an object with you to sleep. During sleep, the spirit will seek you out in open communications. Hmm... An object of someone past. All right, let's see here. Hmm, this seems interesting. Dragons. Dragons are large lizard-like creatures that live within forest caves. They have scaled skin, wings, razor-sharp teeth and claws, and are capable of breathing fire. To achieve this, they will consume kerosene or paraffin, which ignites within their hot bellies. to evil pets. Aha! This is what I need. The common raven. It is not uncommon to find raven nests within rooftops or rafters of cabins and houses. Ravens who have settled down, however, become extremely territorial and aggressive in nature. This is all the more reason why they make an ideal pet for any evil persons. Party tricks. What does the witch want with party tricks? Looks kind of fun, though. Some neat tricks in here. So many different shapes and sizes. Big brown bowls, medium gray bowls, small blue mugs. For all your witchcraft needs, I guess. Mm, nah, I don't think I need it. A pile of spare gowns. They look like the ones the witch wears. Working on spells must be messy business. Maybe there's some of her hair on them for the spell. I don't believe it. Not a single hair. The witch certainly likes these things. It must be a pain to keep them going all the time. That doesn't need to be lit. sure what good that would do. Hmm. I can't really see down there, but it looks like this is where all the spell scraps end up. Nope. That thing stuck fast. I should just try and move this grate to get a better look inside first. That won't work. I should just try and move this grate. Grandpa would be disappointed in me using fire on things randomly. Witch's cauldron, where all the magic happens. I'm missing some things for the spell. 
I still need a raven's feather, some of the witch's hair, a blessing from the dead, and I'll finally be able to get far away from this wicked witch. I don't really understand it. I think I might just leave it. This actually seems to be a human skull. Who knows what deeds the witch did to get her hands on this? According to the book, I need to find an object of the dead. A skull isn't going to help, I'm afraid. The witch would put the spell book there while she works, I guess. Okay, so the protection spell. A raven's feather. A strand of hair from the one you need protection from. A blessing from the dead over the cauldron they are in. Then I need to heat them to a boil together. And then I need to dip in an amulet charged by the moon. Simple, right? I think I'll keep the books with me in case I need them. I'm not really sure what any of these bottles are for. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's not good. What? One of those bottles has a nice, big, useful looking cork. For first place in the Science Youth Fair, this certificate is awarded to Hans Lind. Who is Hans Lind? Why would the old witch have this? Mm, nah, I don't think I need it. I'm not sure I even want to know what that used to belong to. According to the book, I need to find an object of the dead. A skull isn't going to help, I'm afraid. Oh, a shiny gold ring. What does the witch want with party tricks? Looks kind of fun though. Some neat tricks in here. Tricks on guessing cards. Tricks on pulling handkerchiefs out of a hat. Even tricks for making doves and rabbits appear. Hmm. According to the layout of the house here, there used to be a chimney going down into my bedroom above the table in the corner. If the witch patched up the roof where the chimney was, I wonder. Maybe it's weak enough for me to break through it. Just a plain amulet at the moment. According to the spell, I need to somehow charge it with moonlight? Curse you, Anna! According to the blueprints, that spot is where the chimney used to be. I wonder if I can break through it somehow. It's too far away. I can't reach. Mm. Ah! <laughs> yes! This is it! Our way out! Just one small problem, though. How am I going to get up there? This is our way out. If only I had a way to climb up there, though. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. Yuringo, you lied to me. There's no passageway, just a basement. Okay, okay. Just hear me out. In the basement, Winfrieda has something to untrap me. Well, it's a plain gold ring. Uh, my wedding ring, actually. The thing is, <laughs> I... 
I, I kinda don't know where it is exactly. But I know Winfrieda keeps it downstairs. Please, I, I beg you. Uh, find my ring and bring it to me. Alright, I'll find it. I just need a little help too now. I'm going to try to make a spell. A protection spell. And apparently I need to have the cauldron downstairs blessed by the dead. Uh, yeah, yes, sure, I'll do that. Just get the ring, okay, Anna? You have to find it. Yuringo? Are you there? Hi again, Anna. I found it, Yuringo. Is that... could it be? Let me see. Oh, hold it out for me. I... I, I don't believe it. I'm free! Yay! That's great, Yuringo. Yurinde! I, I have to go find Yurinde. But, um... Do you mind just helping me quickly with the cauldron? My little nightingale! Oh, my silent dove! Your Yuringo will find you and save you from this wretched place! Um, yes, but Yuringo? The cauldron? Fear not, my nightingale! I'm coming now! Yuringo? Please wait! Yuringo? Great! Thanks a lot, Yuringo! Now how am I going to find someone to bless the cauldron? His spirit's long gone. So much for his help. Yuringo? Are you there? Nope. Nothing. His spirit's long gone. So much for his help. This seems to be here for the person chained up. Why it's there though and what it's draining, I do not want to know. Whatever it is though, it's left a lot of smelly mold on the inside of the drain. lucky enough to lock the door on the witch. I can hear her still trying to get in on the other side, too. No, I'm going to have to find a different way out, I think. Look how cute he is. All sleepy like that. Open this door right now.